so actually if you look at the 90 percent most of it is just like it has a protocol right it's a kind of building that is being replicated uh -huh. by thousands and thousands right. of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of numbers because right? it works and they just yeah, use it all over exactly yeah. and, and it doesn't have a creative output mm -hmm. input into it right yeah, yeah. so i'm sure and this is like a speculation of the future mm -hmm. that AI can take over 90% of the architecture practice in the future. Right. So the future will only have star architects. So we do like landmarks. So architecture would, would become from a, 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 a like an artifact to a monument mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. a or just like a, 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 a something that you make to just like to picture a certain like uh, nationalism or whatever mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. picture that you wanna you wanna uh, you want to give or you want to reflect so this is so critical and this is something that made me think like okay so this 90 percent and those 10 10 percent is something really interesting to think about and i remember you one time when when we were talking about that just a very big uh, ideas and and in the studio inside gund yeah i remember you, that you 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 <laughs> drew to me that uh, it diagram. A, it was an Andrew Zago yeah. uh, diagram. So, I I never paid attention to that diagram. <laughs> to be honest, until you came to me. So that's another problem. I don't pay attention in my classes a lot. Right. <laughs> so, you draw that diagram as like a bubble, you know, of like two circles, like two circles of discipline and practice, you know, and you made something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you talking about the part of discipline that is outside as a kind of like the paper architecture, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, the walking city, yeah, you know, like uh, Levius or Wood, Levius you know? Wood, yeah. or like some work of like even uh, Rim Cole has, and, right. uh -huh. and the kind of like discipline that is inside the practice, those kind of buildings that is made by people who are like Ram, mm -hmm. Le Corbusier, Frank Lloyd Wright, right. whatever people who are like promoted the work of architecture in mm -hmm. the history right right and the whole big chunk of the practice of architecture mm -hmm. is actually kind of building that is that is produced by necessity it's just mm -hmm. like housing or like uh, some like most of it is actually right. commercial architecture right like towers in new york or whatever so mm -hmm. we can actually argue like even you can like or dislike this kind of practice, right? right? Mm -hmm. Because people who tend to believe of a moral kind of practicing architecture would be within the discipline and the practice, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And people who just want to make money would just like <laughs> do that kind of practice, right? right? And I remember you talking about that and it, it's actually, it made sense, mm. but it seemed like it doesn't make sense of, of in terms of being complete. Yeah, it's not complete, for exactly. sure. Yeah. So that's why I remember that time when I drew something that is more bigger than that, right? Right, and I told you this is actually the like this could be the, like the th like the practice here and the discipline is actually just like the ten percent. It is the kind of architecture that is done through a professional framework, right? right? Mm -hmm. But the whole built environment that is done without that professional uh, framework is the ninety percent. That for me it was so vague, like the ninety percent in the future, <laughs> pens are just like, oh god. So ninety percent for me was so vague when we first talked about it. Right. Like I didn't know who to refer to as mm. a ninety percent because ninety percent can be the percentage of of the, the the buildings that is in the built environment that is built without professional input, mm. or it could be the the people themselves that right. are doing that right people who built their own houses and everything. exactly yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it, it could be actually both of them mm -hmm. so like we like we kept developing that idea of like of like the they built in like the 90 percent of the built environment that is not that is non-professional right know? right like and I don't mean by non-professional like the very common way of non-professional, but uh -huh. it's just a way to describe that kind of architecture that doesn't involve the discipline and the practice of what an architect, as we believe or right. perceive, is right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and then those like the relation between those bubbles or those spheres or like those worlds, like where is those uh, like relation can be who, who have the authority uh, on like 
to, to, to go between those things or like bridge those things, there should be something that we should do about like actually bridging the gap between this or this is like something that we just like have to take for granted. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a lot, but it made more sense to me and, and, and discussing that with you after that and actually taking that through the whole uh, studio right. with Max Coggin yeah. and, and, and like presenting it in the final and taking a great uh, input from, from guest critiques about those kind of observations that is out there in the, in the, in the, uh, in the world mm -hmm. that is that actually we should look at like made more observations of that because mm. those observations and those diagrams are the the way to picture right. the, 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 the kind of uh, pattern that is happening right now right and through that we can just like promote uh, a kind of architecture that can actually fit the future can fit the changing pattern that is happening right now 